What is up guys, Monashia and today we have Nick Fury against Abyss of Legends Yellow Jacket. And so basically what happens in this fight is that Yellow Jacket gets power locked when he goes above two bars of power. And he also has a very high chance to launch special attacks and each time he does he also gains a refund of 5% on his special attacks when it comes to his power. And also his special 1 is unblockable and will place a power sting if it hits you. And then the special 2, whether it hits you or not, will also place a power sting. And this is not a weak power sting. The special 1 does about 5600 damage and then the special 2 one does about 7600 damage. And I remember when I first did this fight I used Aegon when I did part 5 a couple of months ago and it wasn't very fun just because eventually you will be gaining so much power that you have to push into a special 2 and then you do get that power sting. And it is a passive so you can't shrug it off. But Nick Fury in his second phase is stun immune so he can completely ignore that ability. And that just makes the fight so much easier because now it's almost like a regular yellow jacket. So I usually just want to go in and make sure I stack 8 bleeds to get that internal bleed. And then after that I'm going to launch 2 special ones to go unblockable which makes the fight easier because now I can be a lot more aggressive and just hit into his block. And he is very likely to throw a special attack, so it's actually quite nice because it allows you to play very aggressively as well. And fortunately I did do a couple of duels and I practiced evading special 1 this time and I managed to get it down pretty consistently. Although sometimes I do just uh, shorten my combo and then back off so I can give myself enough space to make dexing his special 1 easier. But yeah, I mean if you practice it enough times then you can sort of just get it down without even needing to do that. And yeah, so this is kind of why I just love this fight because you can just play so aggressively with Nick Fury and just stack a lot of bleeds and you don't have to worry too much about baiting specials because once he gets to 2 bars of power he becomes power locked so so yeah, you can play very aggressively almost as if you would when you're doing Realm of Legends and yeah, it's just a fun fight with Nick Fury. It also just shows how much of a beast Nick Fury is as a rank 3 6 star because I managed to do this fight in one revive where I took I think about 56% in the first fight, which is I think about 3.3 million damage in about 260 hits. And now I did throw my special 2 there, and that also just shows you how strong the power sting is, so you can't throw too many specials, and that is going to be the only other special I throw, which is why you want to make sure that you go unblockable early in the fight before you can get that special 2 and land the power sting on you. But yeah, once you're unblockable, then the fight becomes fairly simple. You just need to make sure you can evade his special attacks, especially that special one when he throws it from close range. Or you'll need to just back off after doing four hits, and then it'll be a lot easier to dex the special because you have a bit more space. So yeah, in order to fully evade Yellow Jacket's special one from a close distance, you have to time your dex in a way that it will look like the first hit will hit you. So you need very precise timing. So yeah, it was a pretty quick fight with Nick Fury and I think a 5 star can do it in 2 revives pretty comfortably. Doing it in 1 revive with the maxed 5 star is a little bit of a stretch but if you boost enough then I'm sure it's possible. But yeah, you notice that I played pretty aggressively in the first fight and I managed to do about 260 hits before I threw my special 3. Then I just decided to throw my special 3 to get a little bit more damage at the end because that thing will do about 50,000 damage and yeah. Now on the second fight I wasn't going to do as much damage just because I didn't have as much uptime on the internal bleed and I just played it a little bit safe by actually dexing the special one from a distance instead of being too close because the thing is if you end your combo with a light attack then you won't be able to dash back before he throws a special one because you'll likely just have to dex it right then and there. Um, if you want more tips and tricks on how to maximize Nick Fury's damage output then I'd recommend checking out my Abyss Invisible Woman solo because that's where I kind of just explain you know how to get the most out of your hits to get the longest duration on your bleeds and pretty much just maximize your damage per hit. Uh, you can just search for it on YouTube or you can check it out on my Abyss playlist it was not too long ago so it shouldn't be too hard to find. You know what I'll actually just leave it in the description to make it easier. So yeah that's it for this video I'm not going to do too much talking. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.